I'm gonna kick this off by saying I, ho I really hope we're able to share this reaction with you guys. <laughs> It gets a little tricky with uh, NBC and all that stuff, SNL. I've, I've, I held off on, on doing this reaction for that very reason. But we got Laquan Bennett here. And Laquan Bennett has done a lot of uh, video game work and whatnot. Uh, obviously a hardcore video game fan like myself. I'd say I'm more of a fan than I am a hardcore gamer these days. Not that this matters or is relevant to the discussion, but you know, you do have Petro Pascal of Last of Us as Mario here. That's the joke. My way of uh, being a fan of games is I like to watch the trailers, I like to buy the games, and then they sit on my shelf. And then at some point, I have some downtime and I play it for a little bit, and it sits on the shelf again collecting dust. That is so sad that yeah. it's come to that, but yeah. That's gr that's being a grown up, yeah. dude. It's, it's, it's so frustrating. The time that we yeah. had to explore yeah. all these freaking digital fantasy worlds, yeah. I miss it. Exactly, man. Anyways, you guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump into this. HBO's The Last of Us is a hit, proving a video game can become a prestige dystopian drama. This spring, HBO is doing it again with another iconic game. It's been 10 years since our kingdom fell. What the hell? The well, they went all out. Left. Hope. I have important cargo I need smuggled to Rainbow Road. People say you used to drive? People say a lot of things. You got a name? It's a me. Mario. <laughs> you hit that turn well, too. <laughs> I feel like he would have done a better Mario than he would, uh, you know, Joel. Joel. That would have been great. There's a video game series out there called Mario Warfare, which is amazing oh the the is it uh the youtube yeah okay, the YouTube. okay yeah that. a friend of mine worked on it he's the same the same dude who did the fight design or whatever it's called the for kratos's moves in god of war uh oh. eric jacobson he's an old buddy of mine he was a choreographer on that on those on that series mm -hmm. and it's so freaking good i have a whole reaction uh set to that if you guys want to see it let me know and i'll put the link in the in the description in the comments below all that to say that was like a serious version of mario and it was so much fun. This was giving me the vibes of the Power Rangers okay, thing. Okay, the remake, yeah. The remake thing with, not the movie, but the very like gritty. The Adi Shank, is that his name, Adi Shankar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nintendo. Cargo. Nintendo co-signed on this? I don't know. Not what? Probably not. Who? She's a princess. At least she was. Until he took over. Of course, you'll never make it on foot. You won't have to. Oh my god, dude, this is so much fun! <laughs> Let's -a go. <laughs> From the producers of The Last of Us and the master storytellers behind Mario Kart's 1 through 8. <laughs> What's it like out here? Karting out here isn't a game. <laughs> We're gonna make it. We need all the help we can get. Yo. Yo, like I would watch this show. It's like the irony that you kind of, kind of enjoy it the way you enjoy the room a little bit. You know, it's just so goofy. This is exactly why I enjoyed the series we were just talking about, the mm -hmm. YouTube series. The Big Bang Theory, the name started out as a joke in the science community. And then it became the name that was adopted for the Big Bang. This starts out as a joke. I could totally see it being serious. Come on, just like the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Come on. And you know whose place they're at right now, right? Yeah, man. It's a Luigi. Oh my god, is that Ethan Hawke? No. Who's that? It's that. one of the regulars. What is this? Oh, he looks just like Ethan Hawke. Goomba, Senshi, and Fungus with shoes for legs. <laughs> All your favorite wacky racers reimagined as complex, dramatic HBO characters. Red Shell, Yoshi. I'm bisexual. <laughs> Name's Doug. Also, I'm bisexual. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it took me a second to realize why they were doing that. I can't believe they made that joke, honestly. I cannot believe they made that joke. The game mafia is going to come after them. <laughs> I cannot believe they made that joke. They're just they're just making fun of what's <laughs> prevalent. What's exactly what's it's going everywhere. on. It's everywhere. They want to be seen. When the Sandman comic first dropped, the whole thing for the writer of the Sandman, because I read up about it, he was like, look, I have a lot of friends from that community, and I just want them to feel seen. And so I respect it, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like this has been a sort of weird overcorrection. See, I don't know if it's, it's a, a genuine overcorrection. 
versus an exploitation. Oh, wow. I didn't even think of it like that. Okay. And, you know, anytime there's an emerging market or whatever, mm-hmm. or, or a flavor of the month, mm-hmm. like there's going to be those kind of hawks looking in and be like, let me get on some of this action. They'll throw stuff in there, but it's not coming from a, a place of authenticity or anything like that. They're just trying to get some money. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so they'll, they'll have something and then it's just like this half baked thing. Right. Right. Yeah, totally. And to do this with Reeves Variety. Yeah. This ain't it. And it's the New York Times. You eat that poison? It makes me feel big, okay? I need to feel big. Because Bowser's out there. And he's the main bad guy. I love how game Pedro is. We're out there in our carts. Woohoo! I love this! I need you to trust me. Hold on! I'll get you to Rainbow Road. The shit on my seat! You can dodge it! No. It's red. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have got a blue cell. What if we crash? Oh, that would have gone for the person at first. A little guy in a cloud comes and uses a fishing pole to put you back on the road. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Well done. That was awesome. That was actually way better than I was expecting, honestly. Like, I wasn't sure based on the thumbnail. I'm like, oh, this could be a, like, a chuckle. That actually quite amused. I think that whatever this is, this if genre, it makes me so happy for some reason. Going back to that YouTube series again, Mario Warfare, like there's something about that where it's taking my childhood and, and making it serious, mm-hmm. but it's tongue in cheek serious. Yes. I like that so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. There's another one called uh, Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I never saw that. Okay. Oh, it's fantastic. They actually use the graphics from the uh, like Super Mario World style games, right? Okay. But the stuff that they do uh-huh. with the sprites and said graphics and, and the music and the production is it's very much in this in this vein, uh, just super epic but also tongue-in-cheek. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. Oh, man. I'm, I need to watch that then. It's like the Power Rangers one, right? I kind of hated it, if I'm being totally honest. And the reason why... Are you, you, You're talking about the... Uh, the short film. Hmm, okay. The short film that was super serious and dark and like Zack was like a bad guy or something. I forget what it Zach was. He wasn't a bad guy, necessarily. I forgot what it was. Yeah. I, I watched it once. It was a while ago. But I hated it because it was taking my childhood and making it aggressively dark in a way that was off-putting. And this is taking my childhood and making it dark in a way that is fun. You know what I mean? It's I a can joke. Understand. Yeah, I can understand. I mean, I, I like the I like the Power Rangers thing because uh, I feel like it's it's like an interesting twist, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, uh, and it is. There is something interesting about seeing uh, kind of like some of the uh, heroes that you grew up with forced into this ultra dark and bleak world. That was interesting, but uh, this is fun. This yeah. is so much fun. I prefer having a separate series dedicated to those ideas, like the boys. Like the dark places that Spider-Man has gone in his story so far, I've enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. I don't need it to go too much darker. At least I don't think I do. I mean, I was curious about an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man follow-up film that explored like what the hell was he talking about in No Way Home because he apparently went through some dark shit right. and I do think that that might be worth exploring but to go super super gritty like the way the Power Rangers one did I'm just like that's a bit much I, I don't need all that and so I prefer if you're going to go that dark that it's this, it's a separate thing entirely unrelated like The Boys it's, The Boys has nothing to do with anything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the DCU whatever it's its own lane and I like it like that I'm weird because <laughs> I seem to be like the only one that enjoys Well, see, I guess for me, I can separate it. The fact that they are using the characters doesn't take away from the original for me or anything or doesn't doesn't uh, take the place or, or change anything in my mind. Yeah. I do treat it like a, a separate okay. franchise, if you will. Okay. Right. Okay. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Laquan Bennett. Peace out.